Hey, we're looking at the template for the diagram and imitate exam. This is what you get when you open up the document, the Google Doc that's on Schoology. It looks just like this. It's a template. So as soon as you open it, uh, you get one of your own. This document becomes yours and yours alone. Um, and what you're looking at is uh, essentially an example. So you get the header up here, which you can replace. Like you would just replace student name with your name. I doubt your name is Diana Diagram, but you get the idea. The course obviously is the class. Here's the title. And then this is where your imitation exam begins. Uh, this is an example of one. So uh, this is sentence packet 18 about Tom and Christine. This is the original sentence as it appears in the packet. And um, down here is an example of what it looks like if you were to imitate that sentence. It's a one, two, slash, two, slash, two, a one, two, slash, two, slash, two, present participle phrases in every single one of these free modifier spots. Uh, and that's, that's an, a good example. If you, if you decided that number 18 was one of your best imitations, then you probably want to use it. Uh, so for me, <clears throat> it is. So I like this one. Let's see, let's see. Here's what I got so far. It looks like I've got chicken and dog. And the reason why I'm just copying over this is because uh, I, it's the same, it's the same. My base clause is just, uh, is, is different in terms of original content. So I've got chicken and dog played their favorite game. This might sound familiar. If it sounds familiar, uh, you might also have a pretty good imitation of this sentence pattern hanging around in your notebook somewhere. And notice I, I'm not highlighting the present participle phrase piece here because I'm going to create a present participle phrase. This one is chicken chasing her four-legged friend around. And dog, comma slash comma, this free modifier modifies dog. No, oh, mocking the bird from behind the pallets. And they're both present participle phrases, so the, identi the identification of the phrase here in parentheses, I, you know, I'm just keeping because... That's what I needed to create here as well. And let's see, this is the piece I don't have. Uh, I didn't quite finish number 18, but I'm gonna think for two seconds quietly and hopefully come up with something. It's not great, but filling their afternoon recess time <laughs> with joy. Or maybe it should just be enjoying their afternoon recess time. Not a great phrase, but up number 18 would be done. So if you thought this is good, I like it. It's good. I got a one, two slash two slash two. If for instance, you didn't necessarily like number 18, you could always just move it down and just keep it as an example for visually what yours should look like. And let's say your number one was actually going to be uh, number 10. So let's see, let's see. Actually, I have, a, I have a good number nine. So number nine, this is gonna take a while, but yours is also gonna take a while. But if you have a number of these imitations done in your notebook, you're just mostly just gonna be typing in them and polishing them, typing and polishing, typing and polishing. So number nine. 
packet sentence number nine. I just set it up just like this one right here. So number one, this is going to be my actual number one. Maybe this will be my number two. We'll see. Or maybe I'm not even doing number 18. You're picking the best of the best to meet the requirements of this particular test. For most classes, it's either you are submitting three imitations, diagram and imitations, or five. Typically, the honors class has to submit five. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I got to do more typing. This is number one, the barbecue cook. <clears throat> Caps lock is on. Dang. The B-A-R-B-E-C-U-E-C-O-O-K, the barbecue cook. Looks like this is a comma, slash, two medial position free modifiers here, comma, slash, comma, and then the verb on the other side stood in the doorway, comma. So two slash, and I know this is a long video, but this is what yours is gonna look like. Wearing a dirty white apron, another two slash, with a blade of overgrown grass between his lips. <clears throat> I don't know why we're not teaching kids typing. I mean, I could probably whip this out in like 25 minutes as long as my imitations were already done in my notebook with two-handed typing, two-handed typing, home row typing. Uh, I don't want this all to be bolded. I do want, though, and notice how easy I'm keeping this because it looks like this is a present participle phrase right here, wearing a dirty white apron, present participle phrase. Watching them is a present participle phrase. Um, this is not a present participle phrase, but it is a... It's on that list of common prepositions. The word with, that means it's a prepositional phrase. I'm just identifying the phrase only because I know it. So the, the, the format, as you can see, is the original packet sentence followed by the imitation of the original packet sentence. So, and that's the case here. I already have this work done, so I'm just going to set this up. It's not my imitation of 18, but let's see. Here we go. My imitation of 9. It's number 9. And I'm just going to copy this piece again because it's the same pattern. I'm just going to replace pieces of it. Notice I'm just making use of these keyboard shortcuts to make my life a little easier. So in this case, I didn't go with the barbecue cook for my imitation. I went with his new truck, which rhymes. Barbecue cook, truck. Well, it's a slant rhyme, but not, not an official rhyme. Here's my verb on the other side. Roared down the road, comma. Here's my first medial position free modifier, a present participle. Backfiring twice, <clears throat> simple, simple, but effective. Here's the prepositional phrase that I, I use the word with again, with its oversized tires Turning up gravel. Roar down the road. And then here's what I have in the final position. Impressing. Or the original was everyone, and then I kept thinking like I needed to polish this. Impressing everyone. Yeah, I'll work on it later, but as you can see, uh, I've got, right now I've got number nine done, number 18 done, and that would mean that whatever my, you know, my next best imitation was, I would follow the same format. So the format's the same for everybody. Uh, the imitations are going to be the thing that stick out, and this is what you're earning credit for. You're earning credit for your ability to original uh, diagram the original sentence, identify its phrases, and imitate the original sentence and identify its phrases. And you have to do that 
you know, three times if you're in the Regents class, five times if you're in the Honors class. That's the gist of the diagram in Imitate Exam. This is a long video. I'm going to wrap it up. Hopefully it was helpful to you.